Good morning and hello from the 1870 studio. Before I start Stained Glass Sunday, I just want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching our TikToks, our YouTubes, our Facebooks, our Instagrams, X, Twitter. <laughs> I barely put anything on there. And um, today I was not going to do... Um, I wasn't going to do Stained Glass Sunday, but I decided this morning I've just been, I've been blown away by orders <laughs> and I have been doing work back in the studio and I thought I'll just do Stained Glass Sunday and then head over to the wreath barn. I want to head over to the wreath barn and uh, Morton's going to come and be reading for us, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this window that we're making. I'm going to put my gloves on <clears throat> to show you now. Stained glass. The secret to stained glass is light. You have to have light for stained glass. You have to. It has to be lit up. <laughs> Backlit, typically. Um, so this, when I hold it up, it's not going to look super spectacular because the light's not coming through it. The light's not the light shining on the front of it. And even if I turn it around, <laughs> the light's still just shining on the front of it. But when I move it, let me switch it around. Honey, are you coming to read? Yeah. Martin's coming to read. Let me turn you around here and show you the magic of stained glass. So the magic of stained glass happens when we Put on our gloves because it's still not clean clean and I changed my white shirt don't worry don't wear a white shirt when you do this the magic happens when you hold it up with light behind it and that light's not even a real bright light but this I need to get back and put more purplies on this because this is the purple window so we got all of our little dinky areas cleaned and filled <laughs> and now we got to get to the purple part. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to turn this upside down just now and put the part that we're working on, the part that we're working on, I'm going to put this um, down here by us. Now, the, the thing is, I know my board is 24 inches long. This window frame, babe, would you bring me a tape measure, please? Just the little one I can keep here. I don't know. I had a, had a little tape measure here. I don't know what happened to it. Um, oh, and there's my glasses. I have been looking all over for these. Wait, are they my broken ones? I have one that has a broken frame. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to take measurements this morning on this one. So I know my board is 24 inches, so it's going to have to hang off of the end of my board by, it needs to be 25 and 3 quarters, so at least an inch and 3 quarters off, maybe more, maybe more. I'm going to get this lined up, and I'm going to cut some big purple pieces right in here. I have some... Um, I have this purple, which is super, uh, I don't know how to tell you what color it is, except when you put it up to the, oh, yes, um, when this light go, glows through, it glows through like a yellow, and I'm not, I've had this piece laying here, I can't quite decide, thank you, honey, can I just keep this one up here? Yeah. Thanks. I typically always have, <laughs> typically always have a ruler here. So 25, babe. Oh, wait, did I measure out my wood? Because this is going to be in a wood frame. Wood frame. Oh, gosh. I might have just made a big mistake. My wood. My glass. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm measuring it just to the just to my glass glass on my window. 
So I'm measuring this. Okay, I was just so scared. <laughs> I'm just measuring where, just where the glass is. And then I have all that edge of, we have really deep windows um, to get my frame on. Because this is going to be a shutter. Sorry. <laughs> just moment of panic. Have you ever done that? Like, oh my gosh, how did I make that mistake? So this edge over here, oh my gosh. No, I, honey, I would never do that. And you can't do that. You can't cut a ring saw and, and, the, and the metal. You can't. You'll crack something. Wild man, Martin. <laughs> Martin's, <laughs> Martin's being a wild man. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to get 25.34. <laughs> I love Martin, but sometimes he comes up with some wild ones. Okay, so I need to go even further up here. This needs to be longer. Honey, I am so done messing around with this window. I want it done. This edge is... Yes. This edge is so straight, too. 25 and a half almost, a little bit longer. A little bit longer. <laughs> My, these boards are two by two. But then they have a, okay, a little bit shorter. And get the perfectly, perfectly perfect. No. Nope. I'm going to go 25 and a half because it does grow. It grows as we put the metal in around it. Yep, that's perfect. Okay. So now the trick is to ease this up here so it stays nice and square. I can have this one here. Well, that looks like it's coming inward. Okay, I'm going to work on this side of it today. So from... Uh, it's going to be great. I'm going to keep this tape measure so close because I'm going to... It's going to be vital for me now. So I have some purple. And I don't, I don't think I'm going to use this just because... Yes, it's purple. I like it because it really... It looks purple when there's it looks purple when there's nothing behind it maybe i should put purple corners at the top with this maybe i'll do that maybe i'll do that let me look and see which way my well that side's pretty too Let's see maybe it needs to be this away Maybe I'll put a corner here and a corner here. Bonbon came in. Bonbon came on. Yeah, I don't know how she's managing how she's managing it. <laughs> It'll not be the four pod one. Honey, <laughs> you read comments, Can't please. Wait to see it from and somebody so just followed. Me. Noodle just followed. Thanks, Noodle. I didn't show that. On me. Okay, so I'm gonna this part here. I'm gonna sweep, and this purple, I'm just kind of concerned. This one that says good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just kind of concerned about this purple. Just, I do mm -hmm. like it. Priscilla's a day out. What? They said, how's your Saturday going so far? Yeah. <laughs> That's how I had been yesterday, honey. I asked how Sunday was. How everybody Saturday was. Or Sunday. I forget. <laughs> I'm feeling good, thanks, this and that. And we're having a good day. Thank you, Priscilla. I'm going to take this. Maybe maybe she's on a groundhog day. Maybe. And she's having to live Saturday all the time. That would be lovely. I'm going to take this and just... See how I feel about this what little... What if you draw the edges on the wood with a pen so you don't have to remeasure when, you, when it moves? Oh, uh, I do that sometimes. <laughs> I do do that sometimes. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna use one corner and one corner and see what I think. If I don't like it, and I gotta push this way out of my way now. Hey, Priscilla says I always enjoy opening TikTok and seeing what you guys are up to. <laughs> Great. Love you guys. Thank you. I go, you should not do this. I should have another place to put underneath here, but I don't. So I'm going to cut this. Good to hear you're keeping it strong. I, I just cut it weird. I was cutting it at a really, really weird angle. It's okay, because it's not a pattern piece. My gosh. So, running pliers, I can't squeeze this down because it's only for a straight line. I can squeeze a little bit, just a little bit. And then squeeze this way just a little bit, but I, I have no other choice but to tap this piece to break it. That just that little tiny click was what I wanted. And I'm gonna hold on. I usually hold on to the piece that I want. And you see I'm way, 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 way off. You need to make a scene of your Christmas tree. <laughs> okay, so here. Okay, what is this piece for? This and that's asking. This is for this window, my purple window that we're working under. It's going to be shutters <laughs> for down here. The bottom halves of our window, um, we can crank out and open. They have screens on them. So this is going to be a purple shutter on each side. Um, we'll hide my neighbor's lovely house. <laughs> and I'm going to have uh, shutters at the top, too. I have never heard of or seen stained glass shutters in my life. Um, over here, I'm going to make another. This is good, because then I can save two more corners to put two more pieces at the top of my other ones to make them look... Mm. This and that says how beautiful Dawn says that's going to be gorgeous. It already looks amazing. Thanks. And Angelia says good morning. Good morning, Angelia. The um, um, the cool thing about doing this is I do have enough of that purple to put those little frames on each side. So this one I'm going to take and come up. Uh... This piece is shorter, so that will be shorter. So it'll be shorter than that. Okay. So here. That will work. I'm just going to grab this little corner. So much better. <laughs> so much better when you have your glass in the correct position. So much better. On you. Oh yeah, this little one. Now I'm gonna save that purple one over there. So I'll have this one up here, this one up here. And these are pretty straight. And take it over my corner and see how straight the corner is on it. So we'll oh good. Creativity, creatively <laughs> encourages me to develop my own ideas. This, the corner on these, I should have checked before I cut, but thankfully they're both straight. They're both straight. And I checked them over here in the corner of my board. Look, see, it fits perfectly in there. Mm -hmm. So that's perfectly straight. If I have it level. Yay. <laughs> okay. Fishing feet, how you feeling now? Oh, I feel great. Angelia, I love so much the texture glass and think it's the perfect material for shutter application. Yeah, I think they're going to look great. I have never seen them, and I don't know if it's like, if it's a weight issue or what, um, but we're going to find out. 
So I'm going to cut some pieces up here before I start, before I start soldering in. I'm going to cut some pieces up. So we have this and this. I'm going to pull this up just a little bit. Get it down to the size that it should be. Hopefully it matches. And I think because it's really easy to get these big, long, straight pieces, it's so easy to get them just a fraction out of line, and they won't work. How little big metal square edge do you want? Um, I was just thinking about that. I'll go and see if I can find it. It can't be a big metal square edge. Honey, where is my, where is my stained glass squares? I, I have trouble. them. Yeah, look around through there. I have stained glass squares that are perfect for this. Doesn't need to be big. Does not need to be big. Just needs to be straight. So I think that one's going to be about like this. I'm going to measure this again. Make sure we're 25 and a half. Nope. <laughs> grow so much. Well, I'm just going to have to use this little guy over here, maybe. No, that's too much. I got to take more, more off of this guy. Actually, I'm happy about that because he was bad cut. What is it? Yeah, that's the perfect one I want. Thanks, honey. This is a stained glass square. I love it when that happens. One, one tap. <laughs> That's happiness when that happens. And this one I might save to put some more color down through. Or a stem. I don't know. Purple is our primary color here. And I have, there are glass shards on here now. That's why we wear our gloves. Pebbles, Pogstone says good morning. Good morning. Lisa says you're amazing. Oh. Uh, Priscilla says you're a natural at what you do. Uh, I just like, I like making stuff. That's all. Like making stuff. I like that so much better. These are not the same size. I didn't want them the same size. I want them to have the same feels up at the top. And they do. <laughs> These are gonna be beautiful. And this is a perfect square because see there's a little edge on it. So I put that beside and then when I go to solder this, I can put that to the side. Oops, sorry, so you can see there and have it totally on square. You want, when you're making a window, if I'm making something like this little moss terrarium, that does not matter. If I'm making a window to fit in a place, you gotta be, you gotta be it on it. Thank you, loves watching your life. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so now let's get our, our tape. Your measuring tape is your friend. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it here. It's too long, so I need to pull it towards me just a little. Just a little bit. That's perfect. Okay, so now we have these two big pieces cut. Now, I have another piece here that I want to... Where'd that big piece of purple go that I had? Is that it down there, honey? Wait, I got it. I got it. There we go. It's my clear. We had a gorgeous big piece of purple here. I don't know what happened to it. Let's 
so weird. Uh, number ending in 114 says, Hi friend, can oh, wow. I get a good morning, Leonardo? Good morning, Leonardo. Honey, would you stick this? You know where my stained glass stuff is? You know the shelf over by the window yeah. where the Amazon thing is? Pop that in. Keep orange label out and grab me my one that says purple, please. I should have two that says purple. I thought I had my purple glass out here. Oh, maybe there's some up here. Yep. <laughs> I found this. Hooray. This glass. This glass is stunning. Honey. Oh, I still need my little purples anyway. Never mind, never mind. This piece. I'm going to put in a big piece of this here. Yeah, just leave it. I found the purple piece I was looking for. This piece is so pretty. Let me show you with the with the light behind it. Look at that. Look how that looks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I knew I had set it here. Okay, now I gotta figure out what way I want it to set. And I think I want it to set this way. I think I like that way. Oh no, I love them both ways. Oh, it's so stunning. And this, this contrast against this is going to look so See, cool. On your right hand side, you lift that brush out the road. Oh, no, I don't want a piece of metal up here. Absolutely saying, not. Put that up against it no. and make sure it runs square. Honey, no. And you're joining it together. No, 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 no. I'm good. Morton brought me a big piece of hunky, hunky metal. I think I might want to put it like this, though. I like that. <laughs> like, I'm going to go with this way. Martin means well. I'm going to firstly cut off. Well, firstly, I'm going to take these guys out of the way and keep them straight where I want them. Down here, I'm going to lift up and put under this piece. And I think what I'm going to do with this piece is just try to center it eyeballed. And I think I'm going to just take um, mm, mm, do I want to do that? Because it goes all the way down to there. I think I want to do that. Where is my Sharpie? I always lose it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Where is my Sharpie? Okay, so here I think what I'm going to do is take this and just come over like here. There's that. You can put it down along the edge and it Thanks, ensures it goes square. Thank you, thank you. You need a longer piece. Nope, this is perfect. I'll pull it up here. But thank you, my love. Okay, so here. And then... I kind of want to... kind of want this to swoop. I don't want to take it down in there. I kind of want it to swoop. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swoop that. We're going to swoop that piece. <sighs> Yay. So this, I'm going to, I yeah, I'm going to do this. And i got to push this down. <laughs> yeah, honey, and I always say about you not being able to see something right in front of you. And I did that today. So this one, this has two edges to it. This side is... Um, um, more textured than this side, but these both of these sides are textured. This may or may not be wonderful. Cross your fingers. 
across to your fingers. And normally I would have this on a big wide open place to cut, but we're not doing that just now. Let's see if we can do this. Now the thing with, with scoring glass, you want to get a nice run. Sometimes even when you're doing a weird shape like this, well, actually, I'm going to do it like this because I don't want to have... You can't go back and forward. No. It's one run. I want, to do, I want to do it like this because um, now I can use my running pliers to break it. And it's so much easier. <laughs> so much easier. That glass is gorgeous. And then here this piece now. Can you see over here? Yeah. This piece here, I can almost cut this like a straight, but I'm going to give it a little curve. I'm so happy with that. It, instead of giving me one bigger, and listen, just squeeze this so little. Well, so little because there's a curve in there squeeze start at one end squeeze little next end and it'll break it out for you yay hooray huzzah okay so this now now we need to get this in now we need to pull this back up that should tuck right to there. Right to there. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's one hair longer. No. <laughs> Where was I missing my mark? Did I? I did. I missed my mark. It's all this up and down on this thing. I could nibble it, but I'm not going to nibble it. It's okay. <sighs> now, I truthfully, I could tap all day. It probably isn't going to happen. Yay. Oh. oh, I'm so happy about that. <laughs> I'm so happy about that piece. I can't even tell you. <laughs> These are going to be up forever. Long after I'm not here, somebody is going to be enjoying these shutters. I'm saying, oh my gosh, these are the only stained glass shutters in the whole wide world. And truthfully, I cannot find any stained glass shutters anywhere. Why are you still not being right for me? Did I have it flipped? No. Oh, it's that little bit now. <laughs> oh my gosh. That little bit. I'm not going to nibble it, honey. When you nibble it, you can fracture it. So I'm going to score it again. Score it. Tap. Just a little bit tap. And then running pliers. Please work. It's too little. <sighs> that was tough. These, this is um, purple thistles, a purple window. Just a feel of like mountains up above, up in the arch, is purple ma purple mountains majesty. So this scene is like a purpley, thistly Scotland feel. 
This is my Dreaming of Scotland window. And I'm putting big shutters up above it too because we get some beautiful views out this window. So now this will work. <laughs> this will fit now. This better fit now, Martin. <laughs> it's because that guy is pointed. That guy is pointed and not rounded. I got a measure. And I like to take and measure from, oh, I got plenty of room. Yeah, that can't be square now. Honey, it is square. Straight on there. Straight on there. I have to allow for my, yeah, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. This is absolutely straight on this edge, and it's straight on this edge too, babe. Mm -hmm. Honey, I will put the set square on when I get there. This little bit right here is bulged out on my solder. Up here I can see. So here I'm going to take this. And Bozzy B had asked, what's the scene in this one? Yep, I just said that, babe, the purple oh. mountains and the thistle and all that. So I want to leave, I want to leave this ear over here. So I need to cut this, this pretty glass here. I need to cut this right there. Let me hold that straight. Hold that down. This little bit off. Hopefully it won't be as big a pain in the butt as my other cuts have been. <laughs> and I usually use a silver marker on stuff like this so I can see better. Yeah, it's a pretty one. Something happens as you are tapping and working on your on your glass like this piece. I have tapped it a couple times now. Oh, they fit together perfect. Oh, I love it. Um, but you can put stress on here, so this would not be the first time that I have. Um, That's okay. Actually, that's cool. This wouldn't be the first time that I've been doing this and my this piece will shatter. You gotta be prepared for that. That could happen. Mm, my nose is itchy. Okay, so here, I'm gonna take this, make sure that side's on and square. Wait. make sure that's square and this is on top I'd rather have it on the bottom but that's okay I'm gonna cut a little bit out of that out over towards that edge it didn't even make a mark Purple wasn't up tight against here. I gotta cut this again. <laughs> oh, I have to cut it again. This edge was not tight against here. 
Remember, by the time you have your foil and solder it on the matter. Honey, no, look, look, babe, look. This, look at the big gap. Yeah, but. That's a big just gap. Just skew the bottom piece slightly with your solder, and by the time it goes into the frame, you'll no see it. No, I have to keep these edges straight. I'm I'm okay with letting that like that, though. It's going I to am. be going into a channel frame, so if the bottom is slightly... <sighs> yeah. But this one needs to come over here. I, I didn't stick my head far enough to make sure that it was straight. I mean, I would level it, I would put it against your purple properly, and at the bottom, it's going to be going quarter an inch into Martin. your channel frame. Come stick your head up here. Look, I had to make these two fit together like I did. I had, this guy was up. See this? Look, he was up. Look down here. Yeah, that's going to be going a quarter an inch into your channel frame, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And you're yeah. going to have copper and solder along there yes. at the bottom. Yes. Oh, honey. Come here. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I'm so sorry. Oh, my goodness. Always be be willing to take opinions when you think you know it all. <laughs> be able to take opinions. Morton's right. This little part will be hidden because this little part will be in a frame like this. Thanks so, a lot for stopping by to say I love you all, <laughs> says love. Thank you. So I can have that up there. I always want to fix and not see where our brains are, says love. Yes. Uh, yeah. If you just connect and not fix. I love this so okay. much. So this I'm gonna put on like this. This makes me so happy. And I'm just gonna slide this over just the tiniest little bit. Wait, no, is that the right way? Let me think about this. <clears throat> <laughs> I didn't get this one right. That's really weird how when I went to mark it before, it wouldn't mark. I'm going to put that down to a church miracle. So I need to cut this bit off here. Amanda Marie says I love this. <laughs> it's going to be so pretty when it's done. I could watch this all day. Am I talking about what time are you stopping to go to the wreath barn? Well, we'll go when we go, honey. Okay, cross your fingers, cross your fingers, cross your fingers. It fits. Buzzy B says that looks like about 400 bucks worth of supplies. <laughs> it's a lot. Of, <laughs> let's not mention the glass. <laughs> glass is spendy. <laughs> and the foil and the solder. Yeah. <laughs> the solder is the most this, expensive part. This is the thing. No, honey, glass is more expensive than solder. Um... This is the thing with this sort of thing. You make it once, it will be there for the rest of, rest of the days. And I'm going to make this slightly under what I've calculated because I want to be able... Oh my gosh, that guy's going to fit perfectly there. I want to be able to... That guy's going to fit perfectly there. I want to be able to, what do I want to be able to do? Oh, no, I have a, I have a, I have a frame. I don't know that I want to put more of this down in here. No, I wouldn't because it's too close to the bit that's in already. Okay, why don't I do it like this, though? Mm -hmm. And then put other colors in here. That color is so cool. Martin, look at it through yeah, there. Yeah, look at how thin a sliver you're going to need below it. All right. 
Okay. This Unless will... you've got slithery parts. No, no, no. This will like be that. this will be focal. This will be focal to peek <clears> out of. I have another little pop of it down there. It's shaped like a flower. Oh, to, to anybody that's watching to explain, by the way, hey, I'm from Scotland and uh, British English solder is what we see in the UK, solder is what we see in America, and I've not got out of the habit, I still say solder, and with Priscilla having been taught the stained glass in Scotland, and me, me still saying it the Scottish way, we, we say it that way, so if anybody hears us say solder, we do know what we're talking about, it's British English. <laughs> Martin, so, why uh, you say that? It's, it's just a, uh, there's solder, solder, potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> is, uh, well, it's different the areas of the world now. say it differently. I don't know why the L was dropped in America. So, British English, solder, American English, solder, for some reason. Okay, so, solder, solder, or solder. I'm going to take my gloves off. Because I want to I wanna get my foil on here, and I want to tack these in place. So next week, all we'll have to do is fill in that. We should be able to finish it up next week. So this is what I take my gloves off for. This and this alone. Diamond Farm Girl says the ale and uh, she's from the USA as well. Yeah, I think it's it's one of those things... I'm going to use, I have um, wider tape here. I'm going to use <clears throat> wider tape on these just because this is a big, these are big pieces up here. So we're going to have more holding power. Yeah, we're going to the wreath barn uh, when we finish the live. Priscilla knew you guys would be waiting for the stained glass Sunday and she didn't want to let you guys down with this and then we're leaving to go to the and we're not sure what kind of signal we'll get so we don't know we don't think we'll, we'll be able to go live there but she's going to make some videos of all the stuff that's there They don't actually have a broadcaster in the actual barn building. It's from the shop. And uh, sometimes the signal's a bit strange depending on the weather. I'm going to overlap these two. And this is so... Um... Super speckled. Neil says thank you for taking the time to share with us. Of course. And they've got a, an amazing room set up in the wreath barn. They've got an old TV that they took all the insides out of it and they put like a modern screen in it so that it can play. And they've got the Christmas Story movie they'll be playing and you can sit and watch that with Hot Cocoa. And they've got the room done up like a... What was that set Like a 1940s. The, the 1940s. It's set up like a 1940s... Uh, living room it's pretty amazing and then obviously you've got all the christmas gifts and everything that's like handmade and uh, crafted and everything all over the place if you're not too far away it's an amazing place to visit mm -hmm. it's what's it called again uh, the you, reef the, barn it's, at it's burnishing when you oh. smooth out the copper Super, I could literally watch you all every day, all day. It's <laughs> super special name. Well, I wish you were here. The Diamond Farm Girl, it was at the tape, the copper tape was actually invented in Louis Comfort Tiffany's workshops by a lady that worked for him. And all the intricate Tiffany glass that you see, the, the, it was invented there. Up till then, they used to use lead came and the and, uh, Zinc, was it zinc? Just basically lead then. It was lead and zinc came that they used to use to put the glass together and some of the designs were fairly clunky and she came up with this uh, method that they could cut and make really, really intricate designs. 
because it allows them to wrap the glass in the copper so that the copper pieces can all be soldered together to make really, and, and that's how you see the lampshades that are all formed over the top of like forms. And uh, they're really, 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 really neat. And up till they came up with that design, they were pretty difficult. But it was actually a lady in the workshops and like the Tiffany workshops get the credit for it. I don't know what her name was, to be honest. We got a... I want to do a TikTok on that. Martin, you are so awesome. Do you know that, honey? Right. Do you know how awesome you are? Martin is so awesome. I'm going to teach you this thing, not just now, but it's how to make a star out of wrapping these little things. Buzzy Bee wants the Raven Tiffany lamp, but it's $500. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's why they're so expensive, is because the, the amount time. of time that it consumes by the time you cut all the pieces, wrap them, and then solder them all together because the, the, uh, I don't think they have a mechanical method of doing it yet. So it's still done by people. And uh, it takes a very long time to do it. And time, you know what they say, time is money. Is uh, how did we meet? We, it was one of these quirks of fate. We met in a, a chat room uh, 22 years ago. We were both uh, between relationships and uh, we were like it was a it wasn't a dating chat room it was a, a one for historic scotland about castles and everything and we got talking about all that and priscilla couldn't believe that i had never visited edinburgh castle we got talking about all that kind of stuff for a few months honey how different our lives yep. would have been oh my gosh my daughter forced me to talk <laughs> Uh, it's a long, it's it's a wonderful story. I actually wrote a book about it, but I'm getting ready. Oh no, I tore that bit. I'll tear this. Ozzy B says I made those stars in school. I had jars and jars of them. I love those little stars. What stars? The little paper stars. I'm right. putting even thicker it's on this one. because it's on this. It's on sale for four hundred forty dollars. What beautiful story! I love it. Said super speckled nails. This glass is even a little bit thicker. So I want to use the th this copper foil comes in different widths. And I want to make sure um, that this piece is properly held in place. And don't touch this stuff on the inside because <laughs> it's sticky. I like to center it. And there are glass foilers. I have one sitting down here beside me. I never use it. I prefer to do it by hand. And I just center it. See there? Center it right on there. Center it. Center. It's just the way the light's catching it. It is copper. I'm going to just crank this over so I don't accidentally bump it yeah, off. It has, it has to be copper so that the lead solder takes to it. She uses a 60-40 solder. It's 60% tin, 40% lead. And if you're using jewellery, you can get jewellery solder that contains no lead. It has silver instead of the lead. But you, that, this is a window piece, so that's why it's safe to use lead. Yeah, they said it's starting to look copper now as it changes in the light. That's life for you two saying, is there anything you can't do? Um, plenty. <laughs> yeah, the, the... Plenty I can't do. I just like to try everything. Yeah, the jewellery sold are super expensive because it's like the silver that's in it and not lead. 
I like to try everything because guess what? Until we try it, we don't know if we can do it or not. I'm not scared to try things. And I'm really, really not afraid of failing. I think a lot of people are scared of failure. That's life says you're so artistic. You. I wish I had half your talents. Um, just try. <laughs> just do stuff that makes you happy. Like this window, it doesn't have to make anybody happy but Morton and me. Is it bad for you to be touching the lead? Yeah, that's why you wear gloves. Yeah, I wear gloves. It's I wash like my if hands. you're working the lead for a long period of time, you should always wear gloves. I don't. And drink always around it. ensure that you wash your hands thoroughly when you finish work. And thanks everybody for. I don't think there's such as a thing as failure with art, said Buzzy Exactly. B. I love that way of life. Try everything. You can only succeed if you keep trying. Exactly. Uh, Nanette said, "I love the way of life." Uh, Tricky Chris said, "You can only see." Lydia said, "You're both talented, amazing. The world is a better, a brighter place to." That's like <laughs> Tricky you. Chris. True. So, did you know? This light bulb here that's shining down on this project, this light bulb that uh, Thomas said Edison invented, did you know he failed 10,000 times? And every time he would try and he would fail, he would be happy because he said that's one more way he knew that it wouldn't work. So if he would have not been persistent... Would we have got light eventually? Of course. <laughs> Did you know it was not actually Thomas Edison that made the light bulb? Who was it? It was a some it, it, apprentice glass blower that made the, the bulb. Oh it. my goodness. Well, he probably worked for Thomas, and that's why Thomas got the credit. Mm -hmm. Like the Lewis Comfort Tiffany. Yeah, they tried thousands of different methods of blowing the glass bulb, and they that's finally found cool. one that worked. We need to make a TikTok about that too, babe. It's actually ironic. The place that they had the first street lights is 20, what, 25 miles from us? Yeah, Sunbury, Pennsylvania. Tesla and him were rival. He, he actually tried to shut down Tesla, they yeah. said. It I'm... was a bit of a shame that the two guys couldn't work together because can you imagine what they could have achieved if they'd worked together? Yes. So, eh, you have such an amazing way of thinking of things. You're always positive. <laughs> said that's life. We have Sir two. Davy <laughs> says Buzzy B. We have two choices. <laughs> How long did it take you to learn this? Um. Well, truthfully, truthfully, one night. <laughs> But I've been practicing for 22 years now. Diamond Farm Girl said, yes, my daughter came home from the school and told me Edison didn't invent the light bulb. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you're feeling better, Priscilla. I am. I'm plugging in my soldering iron. Diamond Farm Girl's got a laughy face and says, I thought she was rewriting history. <laughs> Both for real, that would have been amazing. That's impressive. It's easy to learn, harder to master. Yeah. Yeah, the techniques are... The techniques are, everything I'm showing you here, just a technique. And then you practice, you practice, you practice. And the more you practice, the better you get. That little guy's up, but I don't care. I want to measure this. I want to solder this. So this will be set in stone. Then I don't have to measure it anymore. What do you it do can't if there are grow. small gaps, says Jennifer? Ask I'm going to fill these in with blank, with other glass. And then here, like where this little glass gap That's is. Life for you, says, my name is Debbie, by the way. It's wonderful to meet you. Hey, Debbie. Where this little gap here is, I'll just put extra solder in there. But i got to get my square now. Make sure my measurement's right. Oh, and make Comments sure going fast. I gotta make sure my measurements right. Five and a quarter. Perfect. 
perfectly. Perfectly, perfectly, perfect. That edge is totally square and on because I can feel this over here. Melanie says, good afternoon, um, headed to bed and taking all 75 of you with me. <laughs> when it's done, it's going to be breathtaking. Did you not turn it around now? I had to turn it around to keep working on it. Buzzy B says, Sir uh, Davey always work. it in 1809. Edison took it in 79 and made it practical in long burn. Always work, work closer. So I just want to put this edge on here and make sure we're super square. This is something that I got when I was in the UK. I've had this for 20, 20, 22 years. Tempsford stained glass. Remember, honey, when I used to get my little shipments from them? Oh my gosh, I'd be so happy. Texas Sunbee asks if you put that lumpy glass in the kiln, would it come out flat? Yep. I think you turned the glass the other way around, said Lena Lean. The piece was the other way around. Yeah, um, it had been up there, but I had to bring it down here to work on it. Or do you mean this piece? Um, that piece can only go that way. If I flip it over, it won't fit. No, the middle one. This one? Yeah, it can only go that way, Lena, because... Uh, if it was the other way around, the... Oh, Lena's right. Oh, is it? Lena. Lena. Right. Lena, you just won a prize on that comment they thing. They mean it was a smooth side up. Lena, I love you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, was... See how wonderful it is having all the eyes? Lena's I was thinking... Laughing. I was thinking that wasn't fitting just as it had been. <laughs> That's why way better now 12 o'clock already lena loves i love you too <laughs> thank yeah. you so much we're always better together <laughs> sweating here says lena now i'm gonna square it up again what is it i get by with a little help from my friends yep Make sure we're square, square, and measure. Whew. Lena, you know what? Oh my gosh, I am, <laughs> I just whacked myself in the head with this, with this thing. I, I can't even tell you how happy I am you caught that because I would have noticed it after I did it and then then I would have been so sad, and I would have said, oh, well. <laughs> now, this end is a bit longer. Everybody's saying good eye and feel glad they noticed. Yeah. 12 o'clock on the button. 12 o'clock and all's well. <laughs> Crime on it. It's so difficult since we cannot yell. <laughs> yes, good eye. Okay. Right, I gotta make sure I'm square. Twenty-five and a quarter. Get caught there, y'all. Twenty-five and a quarter. Whew. Babe, that was such a lucky, such a close call. I know it doesn't look square down there too. It's square here, and it's out, honey. It's out because of this hump. I promise you, it's totally good. It's perfect perfection now. You feel better, Kelly Lucy. Ooh, I feel so good. <laughs> I feel good. I feel great. I feel wonderful. So normally, too, when you make a window. I wouldn't have had anything soldered. All, like, these, these patterns here of windows that I've done. I had my pattern laid down. I drew everything, copper foiled it, put it all in place, and then I soldered it. Um, but um, this one, I'm making it up as I go. So that's what are you why doing the, with the finished project. Oh, you just got a trumpet or something. 
Thank a you. Chocolate from Angelia. Thank you. Thanks, Angelia. <laughs> so this is going to be up in this window. It's my purple Mountain Majesty window up way up there. It's purple. And these are going to be stained glass shutters. Um, so I, so, um, I love the view because let me show you here. When I'm looking out here, let me show you why I love this view. When I'm looking out here, even though I see my neighbor's garage, I see the mountains too. So I don't want to, this is what we typically look at, our neighbor's garage. So, but it's still beautiful. Um, so when these shutter windows are there, they're going to look gorgeous, but I can open them up if I want to, and they'll match the purple up there. This is the purple window. This, the west side of the church are all my rainbow colors, starting with the red cherries down at the, down in the kitchen, all the way down here to purple. Oops, plugging my phone back in. Okay, so we have our soldering irons on. I'm not going to touch this. <laughs> I don't want to move it. Okay, babe. I'm going to get this soldered in place, then we'll say bye-bye. So last week, I did not put my flux away. So my flux turned to this gooey goo. You want to put your flux away? Or that happens. It's okay. Can't wait to see it with a light behind it. Everybody. It's going to be gorgeous. And I'm not going to lift it up again until, um, until I put it up in place. The first part I'm going to solder is right here. This piece right here, because this piece is kind of up in the air because of all the solder that I've put on. So I got to kind of push it down just a little bit. Oops, wait, is this on? This is on. I didn't put water in my sponge. Yeah, water in my sponge on my stand. Honey, today has been so productive. We were just talking about that earlier, Jennifer. There's British English and there's American English. And in Britain, we say solder. And for some reason, they dropped the L and most Americans say solder. So I'm going to cut this. And Buzzy B says it's kind of regional. Hi there, crazy town mama. And yeah, uh, Buzzy B says it's kind of regional. And Jennifer says, oh, ha, ha. Cut this so I don't have all the... Good morning, nobody important. Um, everybody's important, nobody. Everybody makes a difference. That lifted it. <laughs> Ever so slightly. <coughs> oh, I need to turn my fan on. When you do this, always, 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 always ventilation and fan. So I just want to tack this so it does not move again. Their, their name is actually Amy Priscilla. They call themselves Nobody Important 777. Gotcha. See how I just moved that one ever yeah, so slightly. Jennifer says it's that comment that makes you and Priscilla so often awesome. Mm. Uh, you could finish that today if you weren't going to the bar. I know. Busy I might have to come back and finish it, but I have 14 mystery packages to pack up. Bonita Bandit says hello, what a beautiful piece. Hello. So there, I'm tacked there. Now, I'm going to tack, I'm going to actually just run my solder right here. You got to flux it. Flux it. 
of you going live when you pack boxes? I can do because guess what I did last night? For three and a half hours, Mort and I watched TV and I wrapped Christmas the whole time. I was wrapping stuff for the mystery packages. Okay, that's for life for you too. I missed out on the package, I think. From You can still order the mystery package. Yeah, the mystery package. Just the, the large Christmas package is sold out. Yeah, we still have... But you can still order the mystery package. I'll it's probably do... dollars I think. And I'll probably, honey, I'll probably only do like 20 more of them. Oh, Buzzy Bee's hoping it'll get there for our birthday. When's your birthday? It's being shipped out tomorrow, so... All going well. It's on the 25th. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Amanda's is the 26th. Wow, happy birthday early, ladies. I think when you come off this live, you need to order more soul. How much do I have? I think there's only one or two rolls left. But I got to contact the company out in Altoona. Mm -hmm. I uh, would love Lina to use this. This stuff. is so beautiful. And Amanda says, Buzzy Bee, happy early birthday. <laughs> you know what, what we're going to have to do, honey? What? With our TikTok friends. We're going to have to have. Um, an on birthday party with everybody. Mm. We can pick a day. Let's do it in, maybe in January. In January, we'll have an on birthday party. We'll celebrate all of our birthdays at that party. And we will be playing Alice in Wonderland's a very merry on birthday to you, to you. Mm -hmm. A very merry on birthday to you, to you. La da 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 da. Statistics show there are three hundred and sixty-five, uh, sixty-four on birthdays, on birthdays every year. Sounds fun, says that's like I love Alice in Wonderland, says Buzzy B. Same. I want to have a nice thick bead here. Nice thick bead here. I can't tell you how happy I am about this today. When are your births? Morton's February 19th. And I am, what am I? May 11th. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to do this guy a little bit more. Sounds like fun. My birthday's on the 21st of December. Oh. Good video. It's going to be so beautiful when finished. I didn't hear, did you mention what temp you set your iron to? It's, uh, what's that? I've got to make this that one's one. set... Uh, this is in Celsius, and it's just below, it's right around 500 degrees Celsius. Celsius? Yeah. That'd be a thousand Fahrenheit. Oh, never mind. This is Fahrenheit. <laughs> so it's around 500 Fahrenheit. It's hot. And this one has a ceramic tip inside there. To keep consistent, even heat. Now, on yeah, this... Is going to miss his birthday and anniversary. I am. I'm going to be in France for his birthday and anniversary. Hey, Priscilla, what's the history of fused glass? I've never seen it done until you showed it to us. Oh, there's fused glass in the... Um, 
Here's Fee's glass and the pyramids they found. So it's been around for ages. One the lost sun as long as glass has been around. Um, I'm going to take it off of here and I'm going to unplug this. This, I can't stress how important it is. Always, always, always unplug. <laughs> unplug. And I turn this off. Turn off, feel. Always remember what the burning part of your soul going on. Yeah. <laughs> always remember that. But um, it's going to be gorgeous. And I might do more. I'm going to take my brush out. Uh, just lay it on top here. Crazy Town Mama says some people have 365 on birthdays a year. Their friend was a leap year baby. Yes, that's true. I have a friend that was born on leap year too. A man does laugh that's on a pretty cool. Celsius. Okay, so this is going to wait there. After we come back... Hello, Mr. Holliston. Hmm. After we come back from the barn, I might work on it again, but I also might pack up. I ha The whole stage up there is packing station yeah, now. Yeah, Aquarius is a January, February birthday, I think. Honey, I have to go wash my hands. Yeah. I'm going to turn this over to you, and you can talk to people. Shut, shut yours down. I got to go wash my hands. So... Do you want it pointing at you or at I'm something away else? For me, you don't want to scare them away. <laughs> but just don't shake them, okay? Don't shake. <clears throat> Be gentle. And honey, what? Wait, honey. More, and you look like you smell like cedar. I probably smell like the fire. Then <laughs> I, honey, I was stoking honey, the fire earlier. Really. What they're looking at? What are they? Yeah, they're what looking at you's them? leg at the moment. There you go. Oh, there's a, a lamp that was. Oh, this is an example. This no. is a lamp. No, that's lead. That's came. No, that's, that's not even. That's just metal channels. That's yeah, that's lead. metal channels, as opposed to Tiffany style. Yeah, and then here, I'll turn this Tiffany style one on for you. And we have a Tiffany one over here. I'm first week of February, so an Aquarius. Honey, here. Still not here. shaking. I guess we'll watch my hands. Vodka martini, shaking, not stirred. <laughs> and this is the Tiffany style. And as you can see, when they put it on the forms, it's uh, the... They can make it far more curved than what it is. Like, I'll take you back over and show it. And then, like this one, you can see Priscilla does this as well. You can put, like, the glass beads and stuff in as well. This is an old one. There's a few of the pieces are cracked, as you can see. And to repair that one would be really difficult because you've got to, like, unsolder all the pieces out. <laughs> Martin, for, I'm not allowed to be president. You've actually got to be born in the States to be president. That's why, like, uh, you know, you get people like Arnold Schwarzenegger that run for governor. He he couldn't run for president because he was a uh, not a uh, natural. But although he's an American citizen, he's not born in America. So uh, see how that's like flat pieces because of the metal. They can't like make it form as bit as easily as uh, yeah, Although I'm an American citizen now is you have to be natural born <laughs> and you law will be made yeah i don't think so somehow or other is a uh, so that's priscilla's packing station over there all the stuff to be packed up and uh oh i've got to i'll let's see if he's woken up yet i'll need to put a light on i've got a little blobby fed him this morning and uh, he's been in, sleeping in the fridge for a few weeks, so he'll take a few hours to come back to life. As uh, Let's see if he's bubbling. Oh, there's a few bubbles started. I don't know if you can see that. He's got some bubbles started to come, so that's a good sign that he's still alive. As, uh, the, as, uh, <laughs> it's funny when you watch the news these days. That I think there's, what is it? 300 of them or 500 I, I should remember this because i'm uh, i did my citizenship test and it's like for how many of them are is how many are in the right mind now is like <laughs> i shouldn't talk politics is not a good subject to get into is uh it's there, there's it doesn't matter what side you're on it's they're all loonies 
is uh, it's better if we all have fun together. Do you know what time you'll go live again? Uh, my phone rang and it paused my live. Uh, we're going over, so is uh, <laughs> Hawaii's a state, yep. Uh, I've been, I, 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 I still think a lot in Scottish ways, it's like with a, you know, I still remember like how it was like with the National Health Service and things were slower paced, you queued up for things, you didn't rush the same and it's to a degree, I wish some things in America were like that, that people were more open-minded to, you know, when, when you're in the like road rage and things like that, you still get it in Scotland, but not as bad. People would let people out at a junction and things like that, you know, as, uh, whereas people tend to rush about far too fast, you know. Uh, we don't know what's for dinner yet. We might get something out. Uh, when we go out to the... Because Pondusi's food is absolutely amazing. Dave, I'm going to change my... Uh, Vegemite's an Australian thing. It was Marmite in Britain. I love Marmite. Okay. Oh, Lena worked in, for the NHS in Canny's Burn Hospital. Yep. In 2021. Yeah, that's one thing that I... Like, I keep telling people, like my brothers and my family, is like, the NHS is like sort of not as good as it used to be but don't knock it till you've not got it because like something as simple as going to the doctor over here it's like it's you know what, what insurance have you got and all things like that it's crazy so uh, it's like I never used to have to think about going to the doctor and now it's like it's kind of a worrying thing so it's uh, but it's as life is you know uh, no, really, my mum wasn't really a, a cook in that manner. And she did have like a tea cake, but I don't know what happened to the recipes that she had. It's uh, my brother to visit in February. My brother's come to visit, but they've got their own family and they do their own things because they get really cheap holidays. Where they can go package holidays for two or three hundred pounds, maybe a, a bit more now, but uh, the they can go like really good package holidays to like Spain, Greece and uh, other places in Europe and uh, you get the hotel, the flights and everything. <laughs> Sorry, that's life. Yeah, no, I'm just saying it's like, you know, you move somewhere and you've got just got to like, that's where you are now. So that's what you've, you've got to like people complain about things and it's like, you know where you are. I, I used when I worked in ADM. I would get people that were from other countries that were working with me that would complain about things. And it's like, well, if it's really that bad, why are you here? You know, it's uh, that's the way I looked at it. You know what you know what things are. And, you, you know, you just adjust and you, you, you... Like, America's a great place. And it's like, you know, it has its ups and its downs. And the people of America are absolutely brilliant. And it's like everywhere in the world you have... You're like you're crazy people, and but in general, people are absolutely amazing. That's life. That's why you made your name the way. Yeah, that's that's great. So it's like, and on the whole, the people that I've worked with are absolutely amazing. You want to know what's on the ledge? What ledge are you talking about? This ledge. This is, uh, well, Priscilla's got one of her thingies that she made. That's like a clay, it looks like a triffid with a gem in the middle of it. And she's got a picture thing that she did. That's the grandkids in silhouette. Is this still ready? To my left. Ledge to my, I don't know what ledge you're talking about. Up high on the wall. Mm. Looked like sticks up on the wall. Oh yeah, over here. That's uh, that was the old organ keyboard. It's uh, the keyboard was like pretty much useless because the organ didn't function at all. So we used wood from inside the organ to make a display, 
and we have an old Victrola that uh, Priscilla's sister gifted us and we have, what's his name, is it Nipper Priscilla? The, the dog for RCA is it? Nipper. Is we've got Nipper and we've got an old Victrola, an old family Bible from somewhere. I don't think it was our family Bible. And we've got the keyboard from inside the church, eh, church keyboard on the wall. And these, believe it or not, Priscilla actually, if I can get my fat belly through here, is eh, Priscilla actually made these. We brought the branches in from outside. They were bare and she made all the paper flowers. As eh, She spent hours making these. She painted them out of tissue, with tissue paper. They were white tissue paper and she painted them with the pink watercolours. And then on here we've got, like, this is an old plate commemorating the church's anniversary. As uh, as you can see, St Joseph's Locust Gap. This was like a depiction of the original church. Is uh, But although in saying that, though, it's not the original, original church on the plate because when you see that one, you see at the top of the tower there's, like, four... There's two archways on the front of the bell tower and there's no windows above the door. But then when you go to the original uh, lithograph, is, uh, you can see above the main door there was windows. Then above that there was like a, a round window. But this original church, it was badly damaged by a tornado. And uh, yeah, it was originally a Roman Catholic church. And... Uh, so it was all demolished and it was late 1800, it was 1890 something. It was demolished and rebuilt, rebuilt and then it was badly damaged in the 1930s, I think it was, with another mining accident and a lot of, they built the bell tower and everything on then, no the bell tower, sorry, they built the, bal the choir loft and balcony on then and uh, so there was a lot of work done then. And this is Priscilla's wood carving station. She's working on a green man at the moment here. She's carving him. Hi there, Denise. Is uh, these are big pieces of wood that she's got to work on and some paintings that she's what? What's up? We need to see if oh, all right. I'll go and ask. This is all works in progress and. And these are lights that I'm going to be fitting up here. We're going to be changing out. These were like lights that Priscilla made with hula hoops and cloth to cover up. They they changed out the actual original church lights were like really cheap, nasty spotlights. They and uh, so I need to, we need to be able to move the scaffold so as I can get up here to take all this down and rewire them because like these ones up here, we picked these up at a. Uh, uh, like a quarter stand, or I can't remember where we got, they weren't a lot of money. And uh, these were actually a, what's that? 1.5, did you say? 125 each. These were actually a set of two that were joined together that I was able to separate and rewire, and I bought the finials for the top. And uh, they were actually brown originally. The glass was all discolored. So, but these are like, 24 feet off the ceiling, off the ground, sorry. So I've got to set the scaffold up at 18 foot to be able to get up to work on them, to, to wire them up. Even changing the light bulbs is, is hairy. But uh, the organ's now just uh, like ornamental now. We've got an old-fashioned pump organ as well, though. That's crazy. It's, uh... So over here, the, this is one of your... I don't know if I can get it. We're holding this. Yeah. Here. You can play someone on it. Alright. I have my gloves on. How do you like my gloves? Oh, Alright. Yeah. Santa Claus gloves. <laughs> you know, play it with gloves on. Never sit on that so funny. Oh, well, I think they should. I gotta start playing. This and this was actually made in Washington, New Jersey, in America, in the late 1800s. 
and we we picked it up for less than a hundred dollars. It was a uh, refurbished so that the actual pump organ works. So it's it's a uh, this one still actually works with a pump, the foot pump bellows, and then you have all the the organ stops that you can pull in and out to make different uh, sounds. But th this one over here, this one, we've got. This will probably make noises because I've got stuff sitting on the keyboard, and some of the keys are actually stuck. But this one was made in a. Uh, this one was made in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I've got stuff sitting on the keyboard. Is a. Uh, but this one, the, a, a lady gifted us this one. None of our family wanted it, and it was going to go to the trash, believe it or not. And it, again, it was made late eighteen hundreds. And I can't remember where it is. It tells you where it was made. But uh, again, this was... Ah, here it is. It was made in... Oh, the light's no good here. Uh, I can't read it because I've not got the light on. But it was made in Pennsylvania somewhere. And I think it was Lebanon in Pennsylvania it was made. And it was going to be put in the trash. A piece of American history just getting thrown out. It was, but we picked it up. Same with this lamp. This was made in the 50s. It's made out of plaster. And it was a company that started after uh, World War II. And they make all these really neat lamps. And uh, we picked it up at a quarter stand. It was it was amazing because like, people are wanting more modern things these days. But it fitted in here nicely. Yeah, Priscilla's gone. It's, you maybe get a job in the church on the Sunday now. Uh, this C chord, look, it moves keys down here. Uh, I never noticed that, but this thing works. But I have to have something that I can pedal. Um, I gotta get, I gotta. Yeah, we, ne we never bother doing anything like that, Amanda. It's like we don't go licking the paint, so it's, you know, there's no really any danger from anything. Oh, and, and it's like the paint, the, the paint in here, it's like the. the we painted over a lot of the stuff as well, and uh, the most of it's like wood anyway, so there's a varnish, so there's no really any problem from lead. Honey, do you want to see, give me the phone and see if Eric... You should show these items to the Antiques Roadshow. Love the old pump organs. They're, beef, they're worthless. <clears throat> and this cabinet here, this was uh, made from the... We have our projector on it. We show films on the wall over here. And we have a sound bar, and the, the, but it was made from the wood from inside the organ as well. It actually housed the keyboard here. Take it back. See it housed wanna... the keyboard. Yeah, yeah I'll go see down if and they ask. Go. And the table there that was made from something that was left in the shop. You can tell them. Yeah, that. that was part of the organ as well. This table here, a friend gave us. Um, I love it. It's from France. It's a little bit famous. It was in a documentary. Bill Cunningham, he was the, um, he was the original It Girl photographer. Uh, Morton, did you say, don't go licking the paint? Yep, <laughs> it's true. Bill, all the old paint is gone. It's all covered over. There's nothing peeling. So unless you were, um, Unless you had children who would eat paint chips, that's when it can be an issue. And down here, I'll show you the floor. Um, this floor, it, the, they used to put oxide in to make red and pink. So all down through the center, that's the best part of it. A lot of it is dark, dark, dark red, right down through the center and around every edge. They had painted that, which is why we put out the, which is why we have like the rugs. There's a little, there's some pieces of it still sticking here, but everything else is wood and uh, had been painted over like this part here. See that is hideous. I scrubbed it. I spent three months, four months maybe 
just trying to scrub the floor to be that color. It, it wouldn't work. So it's, um, yeah. It's a work in progress. And I changed my shirt to the white shirt. And we're going to see if Erica wants to go. And if she wants to go, we're going to head on out. Here's a picture of my dad. He was just a boy. When he was that age, um, he would go help um, on my grandma's parents' farm, on his mom's parents' farm that I had gone to. Oh, and soon, tell me if you want to do this. I think, I think this would be fun. I have this amazing book, Christmas Joys. And I would love us to just do like story times. Look at, let me take my glove off here. This book is so incredible. And look, first picture, old church. Let me see if I can find a year that it's from. But there's pages that are missing in the front. But it's so old. But it's filled with these beautiful, beautiful stories. <gasps> There's a library card. Oh no, that's a book of sale. <laughs> so it had been sold for $12.72 ages ago. I would love to read stories with you. And I have never read these. Look at the little church. That looks like it could be Locust Gap. <laughs> Christmas toys. I love it. Uh, I don't see when it was published. I don't know. Yeah, Morton. I'm going to have Morton read The Real Jack Frost. He was going to do it. He was going to do it before the live this morning. There's just never enough time. There is never enough time. And I put lipstick on it, Morton didn't notice. Maybe he will, I look weird when I wear lipstick. But he might notice. I don't think he will. <laughs> I don't think he will. We'll find out if they wanna go. Have ever worked with Lim, yes. Honey, they don't want to go. So it's just me and you, babe. Mm -hmm. Just the two of us. Martin, do I look okay? Whoa. Do I look okay? Yeah, you look beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you look beautiful. And he walks. He didn't notice this. I'm going to make it a point to smitch him, though. <laughs> it feels weird. It's more of like a chapstick with color. But I'm going to jump off. We're going to do some ticky talks from over at the barn. <laughs> I'm so excited. And um, we will, uh, <laughs> we'll catch up with you later. I am going to be, pa I'm going to be packing tonight. Anybody who has ordered a mystery package, French road trip, they're all going out tomorrow morning. <laughs> All of them, they're getting packed and processed today. And thank you everybody who's been ordering them. You're awesome. It's appreciated. See you later. Thanks for following and thanks for all the likes and being here and you're awesome. See you later. Um, and we're, we're not gonna do a Mystery Monday tomorrow night because I'm picking my sister up at the airport at 5 p.m. tomorrow. But um, we will um, we'll be live today and tomorrow, too. Bye-bye for now. Bye.